Hello, music theory students. Mr. Lefebvre here talking today about the musical alphabet and notes of the treble clef. In music, each written note has a letter name. These letter names are known as the music alphabet, as they are the first seven letters of our regular alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Once you get to G, you repeat the cycle, returning to A. As discussed in a previous video, the second line in the treble clef is a G. From there, you can assign each line and space a letter name by going through the music alphabet backwards when you go down and going through the music alphabet forwards when you go up. Here you can see our G line. Therefore, the space below this must be F, and the bottom line is then E. Heading up from the G, we have the second space as an A. Remember, after G in the musical alphabet comes A. There is no note name H. Following the A, we have a third line B, third space C, fourth line D, fourth space E, and fifth line F. Some people remember the lines and spaces of the treble clef better through mnemonic devices. When using a mnemonic device to remember the lines and spaces, we will always start at the bottom and go up. For the lines of the treble clef, you might use, Every good boy does fine, or Elvis guitar broke down Friday, or empty garbage before dad flips. The spaces of the treble clef simply spell face. To review, the music alphabet uses the first seven letters of the regular alphabet and repeats itself. By remembering that the second line of the treble clef is a G, we can go through the alphabet backwards when going down the staff, and forwards going up the staff, to determine the letter name of each line and space. Or we can use mnemonic devices like every good boy does fine and face to remember the lines and spaces. Thanks for watching.